And big news, Scott, on the release of Josh Burns. Your reaction? Yes, well, I think for a couple weeks now, we've all known the way things were going. That it was reaching a point where something was going to have to happen. I think ownership talked to everybody downstairs, upstairs, trying to figure things out. Van Slyke uh, waiting on that slow curveball and punches a single to left field. Ultimately, Dick, I think ownership decided to cut straight to the heart of the problem. The cliche thing, the easy thing to do always, as we know, is to toss the manager overboard. But I think they looked out and decided what's Bud Black supposed to do? The problem is with the man who put the roster together. All right, then the manager can't play for the nine guys he puts out there. And if they're not uh, winning games and the Padres hitting, what was uh, are all but desperate. And that's the team that uh, Josh Burns had put together. Now, he can't uh, prevent injuries, however, and that's part of the story. That is part of the story, no question about it. And, and, and the injuries, uh, it really is a perfect storm of worst case scenario. Players underperforming, players not performing, injuries. I think taken as a whole, though, a combination of things. The big trade with Cincinnati. For Matt Latos a couple years ago. Uh, Yonder Alonzo, Yosmani Grandel, Edinson Volk has come back, and that hasn't worked. Players whom they've committed to long term right now are, again, underperforming or not performing, and to the point where you really look and the roster needs a badly is in need of an overhaul. You can't look right now, I don't believe, at the guys out there and say they're going to be part of the solution. And then you look at the minor league system and what do you find right not that's the other thing the players up here aren't performing and maybe a couple guys you could argue should have been optioned out or option but certain guys are out of options yonder Alonso for example they they were stuck they couldn't send him back to the minor leagues because he's out of options um, guys that maybe could have been optioned out there's nobody underneath to call up to replace them I think that's why the move was made today as well Mark because the trade deadline July 31 that's the pressure point right now is they're going to have to be some hard decisions made between now and then so you make the move now and arguably probably could have made it a couple of weeks ago but you make the move now because I think from ownership's eyes you have to make a determination 